On today's Prep Diaries, we are scoping out potential location to host my first ever women's empowerment retreat. When I started posting my fitness journey back in 2019, while working a stable job as a hairstylist, I would have never thought my path would lead me here. I never thought I would have the courage to throw an event like this, but that's all changing. In other news, I'm taking you through my favorite upper body workout for cap shoulders. So strap in and get ready for this video. Okay guys, I mentioned it in the community, but we're having a Know Your Power retreat in Austin, Texas, and today we're scoping out a potential space. I'm already almost 100% sure that we're gonna use it just because of, look what it looks like. It's so beautiful. So we're trying to see some logistics about it, how we can like fit the amount of people that we're going to have. We've already had like a ton of people sign up already. So there's gonna be the pinned comment down below if you wanna sign up. It's October 7th, 8th, and 9th. It might be 6th, 7th, and 8th. It might be 6th, 7th, 8th. Yeah, I don't even know the date of my own retreat. But yes, it'll be the kin the pinned comment down below. <laughs> I've been, yeah, I've been saying 7, 8, 9. It's either 6, 7, 8 or 7, 8, 9. One of those, come. It's a little outside if you're crazy enough to come out here during the retreat. During August heat. During August heat. Well, it'll be October by then, but it'll probably still be just as hot. Oh, true. And then come. This is MTV Cribs. This is my crib. Bathroom. Kitchen. So I'm assuming, I wish too, there was like a screen that would cover this so that when we're like making sure that y'all's food is all ready and like set up, we can have like kitchen crew in here getting it all prepared. And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking that that little table over there would be good for like having the food spread out everywhere for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then like in between, we're gonna have healthy snacks and stuff like that. I haven't asked my mom yet, but I'm hoping that my mom will help me with this retreat because she's so good at keeping things organized and I know she would love to. So I'm gonna see if my mom and my little sister want to help so they'll be here too, potentially. I just have to ask. Look at the kitty. It's so pretty. That's basically it. There's definitely more down there, but I don't think we're gonna use that. It'll be mainly in this area that we'll be. And then on, this will be all day Saturday, we'll be in here doing different kind of activities. We have guest speakers, we have like breath work, meditation. Um, there's a chance we might be doing some sort of movement on Saturday, but Sunday is when we're gonna do a big group workout. We're gonna go to my first gym that I started bodybuilding at. We're gonna do a group workout there, do photos and stuff. And then there's also like a VIP ticket that you can get that you get Friday night dinner by yourself with me, obviously if any, not by yourself, but other people that get VIP tickets. And then there's a VIP brunch on Sunday after the workout that you also get in addition to everything else. So I'll let you guys know more updates as we get closer, but it's actually coming a lot faster than we realize. So click the link in the description because there's only limited spots because this is all the space we have. We don't have that much space, so get your spot. Okay guys, today we're gonna be training shoulders. I haven't posted a shoulder workout on here in a long time, and I really wanted to because this shoulder workout that I've been doing is insane. I've been getting like, I've been growing in strength on it, and I'm loving it so much. So I really wanted to share it with you. So first, I'm gonna start by just warming up with the band for a little bit. We're gonna do a couple of overhead presses with the band and um, a little bit of lateral raises, some front raises just to get the blood flowing. And um, then we're gonna start going into it. I'm trying, I'm not trying to pump up my shoulders too much when I'm doing this. I'm just trying to get warm so I can start with my first exercise.
First, we're gonna start with the Arnold press. I haven't done an Arnold press in like forever, but these last like three weeks that I've been doing it with this new workout plan, I've been loving it so much. And obviously it's like such, it's a longer movement because you're coming in, then you're coming out. So I can't go as heavy, but I can really just feel like every single bit of this movement. So we're gonna do three sets of eight. Last week, my highest, heaviest that I was able to get for three sets of eight was 45s. So I'm gonna start with probably just like some 20s just to do some working sets, or not working sets, some feeder sets so that I can get the blood flowing because I'm not gonna automatically just jump to a 45 because my body's not gonna be ready and then I'm gonna be sad. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty weak today. I updated you guys last week on, or it was our last video, time is relevant, but the coach dropped my calories a little bit more because we did the high carb week and then we went to the low carb week. So we dropped it a little bit more. So it's normal that my strength is gonna go down, um, especially during prep, just realigning your goals and remembering that you have a season in which you're growing and your uh, focus is strength, but at a certain point in a bodybuilding prep, it's kind of inevitable once you push to that level that you're gonna lose strength. And it's okay, I used to let it get to me so bad to where I was like, there's no point of even working out if I can't go heavier and heavier and heavier. But just remembering like I'm in a new phase of life to where my goal is now, how can I create the best physique possible rather than being like the strongest that I absolutely can be. I still wanna be strong, but you know, within reason of my diet. So let's do one more. Okay, now we're gonna go into our working sets, three sets of eight. Now that I'm a little bit more warmed up, I did the two sets, 20s, which is relatively easy for me. So now I'm ready to go for the 45s. This is what we did last week, so let's see if we can do this again or potentially do more. Hold on, let me turn my music on first. We can still do it, that's a good sign. <laughs> it was still, I was still failing at about the right place that I like to, which is the last two reps. Really, really challenging, as you saw when I'm doing my first two feeder sets. I'm, I could just knock them out. I'm not trying to go to failure for those, but these I'm trying to hit for the last two reps where like, I'm really trying to get it up. So now we're gonna rest, hit it two more times. <laughs> Should I try 50s? Yeah. If I'm gonna try 50s, it should be for right now. It shouldn't be for my last set because then I won't have the energy. So let's try it for this one. We got four. That's four more reps of a heavier weight than we did last week. Pumpy. Last set, best set. Next, we're gonna do dumbbell front raises, alternating front raises. So we're gonna do three sets of 10 and that's 10 each arm. So technically it's like 20, 20 ups. Then after it, we're gonna do, after the final set of three, we're gonna drop the weight. We're gonna do some lighter 
with a preset bar of front raises. I'm just lifting my arms like this and it already hurts. Okay, so last week I was able to do 25 pounds. I'm gonna start with 20 and then work my way up. That was way harder than last week. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, we're gonna stick with the 20s this week. That's okay. That's okay. You wanna see something? It's me up there. See that little girl in the blue? That's me. That's my first show. My first show in the MPC before I had movies. I just want to drag it. My shoulders are so bad. Okay, so for this last set, we're gonna do drop set of a little bit lighter. So, I'm gonna do the traditional alternating front raises. We're gonna drop that weight and just do as many reps as we can. Um, I'm thinking overhand front raises until failure. <laughs> Look at that. Uh. Uh. See that? Uh. I'm like a like a gym bro right now. Okay, let me just get a grip. Now we're gonna do some cable lateral raises. So, set up like this. We're gonna have the working arm come right in front and go up. You can also do it leaning if you'd like to, but I've just been liking it standing up. I feel like sometimes when I lean, then like I'm more likely to use my body to whip it up. So for this, we're gonna do three sets of 10 each arm. These are pretty humbling, so I can't do that much because they just, they really, really hurt. What I'm focusing on here is I wanna feel it right here. One thing that helps me is to remember to push like through my elbow, squeeze right here. So don't go fast, we're gonna slow it down. I took some first form Alpha Surge before this, which is like a pump product. Um, helps bring blood flow to the muscles. That's what, <laughs> that's why it hurts. Cause it, when you have a pump, it feels like your muscles are trying to like tear through your skin. So that's what it feels like right now and it hurts. <sighs> but if you guys want to follow along with workouts with me, there's going to be a link in the description to train with me on my app so that it can take the guesswork out of you figuring out what you want to do for your training session. You can also track your progress on the app. So join me and thousands of other women. Hey you, don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 100K. Do it right now, I'll wait. Okay. One thing that you notice that I'm doing that I have to be extra aware of because it's so easy to like throw the weight around and like basically let it touch the bottom. You're losing the tension when you're doing that. So if you're just coming up here, coming all the way down, you lose the tension. So when you do it a little bit more slow and controlled and you come right down, instead of having that like complete pause down here, it's like you're going to it touching it, coming right back up. So the whole time you're coming up and when you're going down, you can feel it the whole time.
For a gym that doesn't have that much AC, I'm a lot cooler here than I am. Hey! In like at Los or something. I think it's just because I'm just a sweaty gal, okay? Let me know, you girls. Is there any other sweaty gals here that just like nothing is happening but you're just sweating? We're gonna see, let me see how this feels first. Oh. Yeah. This machine's a lot heavier than the machine I have at my normal gym, so we're gonna go a little bit lighter because we're gonna do three sets of 12 to 15 reps, so anywhere between that range. Woof. I've been doing higher reps on these and I'm really seeing a difference because a lot of times when I'm doing these, I would try to go like super heavy and then I just like lose the contraction and the feeling. So I've been working on just like slowing it down and really feeling it. And it's been helping me a lot more than just like throwing any kind of weight around. Um, one thing that I do want to mention here is when you're setting up for this, you don't necessarily have to fling them back this far. So when you're coming in, also same thing as like I talked about in the lateral raises. We don't want to like rack it, bring it back out. We don't want to bring it too far in and we don't want to push it too far out. So when you're here, we want to push it to right when you feel it. You can even start feeling the rear belt contract and feeling it, then we want to bring it in. So we don't want to go past that like that. It's too much overextending and you lose the mind to muscle connection. So right here. Oh my god. <laughs> when you slow it down like that and really just feel it, there's a huge difference between stopping it like right here versus stopping it over here or even further back. You feel it so much more. Last, but certainly not least, we're gonna use some dumbbell flies, three sets of pets. So I'm gonna do it to where I'm like sitting on the edge of the bench, pick them up. For me, I'm gonna do a relatively light weight, so I have about 12s right now. Black. I don't like that. So when we're doing this, we want to avoid we want to keep our chest down. Keep the weight down here. Control. None of this. You don't want to fly away. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video. We got a shoulder pump and make sure you guys check the link in the description training programs for the KYP know your power retreat spots are filling up fast it's gonna be an incredible weekend here in Austin Texas and I will see you in the next video I love you guys so much and you are more powerful than you think bye